paying our first visit for 2016 to Brandon Marsh today. Let's we'll see what's about on the way to the hide. We've got some blue tit above us there and a blackbird way off in the tree there. Just walking down the path uh, that leads you to the hides. A few signs of spring around. It's uh, the spring equinox today. We've got catkins on the trees. And uh, I don't think we're going to see any of these creatures today. Way too early. Um, just passing the private fishing lake. Just having a look. See if there's anything out there. Just a mute swan in the distance. There are a few other signs of spring around. Uh, these primroses on the bank. Okay, this is the first hide we're going to check out today. This is the John Baldwin hide, which overlooks the marsh pool, I think it's called. Got a Canada goose right outside the hide there. This is the biggest stretch of water here, and we've got some uh, shoveler duck out there. Uh, quite a few males displaying there, and uh, there are a lot of. Um, Shufflers there. I don't think we've ever seen quite so many all together. Also nice views of this lovely uh, great crested grebe there and uh, all the common stuff of course mallard and tufted duck and gadwall male gadwall just swimming by there and looking further out we've got um, lesser blackback gull, cormorant and black headed gull Nice views of this uh, male Eurasian teal. Okay, I'm going to carry on down the path of the next side. And this is the teal pool hide. And indeed, looking out, we have got a, a male teal asleep. But uh, looking down into the reeds here, much more difficult to see. We've actually got some snipe. I've just ringed it there. You can uh, see it. You just see its eye and its beak. Just tilted its head there. And you can see how uh, wonderfully camouflaged they are. Really blend into the reeds. There's another one. There's probably about, around about three down there. And uh, a couple more uh, further away. On the edge of the water there. We've also got red shank and way over the other side of the water there a grey heron. And just below us a moorhen and also a, a wren just collecting nesting material. Okay let's carry on. This is uh, overlooking the same stretch of water as the first hive we went into and indeed we've got a pintail out there in fact there's two there's another one just to the right next to the shoveler there no sign of any sand martins in the sand martin bank yet but that won't be long okay move on just come out the hive we've got a robin just in the bottom of the hedge there just looking out for gold crests. We've seen them before in this wood, but uh, no sign of gold crests. So. And the blossoms much later here. Some blue sky starting to appear now. Checking out the Carlton bird hide. I've seen kingfishers from here before, but uh, only once. And looking into the reeds there, we've actually got a grip tray, I presume, for uh, bearded tit. The sun's come out now, really lovely. We've got Canada geese there and some geese in the air just uh, flying by. Uh, a couple of grey lag. There's an owl box way off in the trees there, but apparently stock doves have taken it over. I'm just getting out of the hide. This uh, strange fungus, I think it's actually called an orange peel uh, fungus for obvious reasons. A lot of midges about today. The air is full of them along this path. And we've got a buzzard just wheeling overhead. And this is the section where Brandon Marsh lives up to its uh, marshy name. It really is boggy along here. 
Well, it started off quite grey and cold earlier, but it really is a lovely spring day now. Right, just down this path is uh, the hide. Well, we're hoping to see kingfishers. We'll just uh, head down this uh, wooded path uh, to the steeply hide. Where we've got uh, the best views and footage of kingfishers uh, at Brandon from here. But we've just got coot and moorhen and uh, Canada Goose having a bath there. Well, the kingfishers haven't shown uh, today and uh, it's time we were heading back. So I'll leave you with the sights and sounds of an English wood in spring and I'll see you next time. <laughs>